Hello everybody, happy Friday. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am sitting in the bathroom, very true to my everyday makeup routine. <laughs> I wanted to bring in some natural light for you today and show you how I've been doing my makeup lately. In the few weeks since the holiday break, I have been playing with a couple of different products, doing my makeup with a new little way. I mean, it's largely similar to the makeup that I was doing before the holiday, <laughs> but just with a couple of twists. And I had also recently filmed the Hindash makeup look, which hopefully you guys saw last week and have been kind of implementing a few of those little things into my everyday makeup routine. So I wanted to show you an updated little look at how I've been doing my everyday makeup. So here we are in the bathroom. I am currently basking in a tan. I was just feeling the winter blues and I wanted to have a little bit of a glow in my skin. So I have been sitting in my robe all morning and now it is time to film and get ready for the day. And this is the face that I have been doing over the last little while. If you like these getting ready videos, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos from me and my friends. Let's dive into the makeup. So for primer and skin prep, this is actually a little bit of a, of a story dating back to when I did the Kevin Kodra TikTok makeup look. In Kevin Kodra's videos, he was always using and talking about the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. And then in a few of them, he also talked about the Dewy Serum. And I had actually wanted to pick these up when I filmed that TikTok makeup video. And for whatever reason, they were, they were sold out at the Time. It was very, very bizarre. Maybe they had sold out during the VIB sale or whatnot, but I had still been wanting to give it a try because his skin always looks amazing. And Tatcha is a brand that I used to love. Like, I don't remember, like, what, I want to say it was like 2014, 2015, whenever that was. Like, Jaclyn Hill used to rave about the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, and I feel like everyone was like talking about this. I was using it, I loved it so much. And Tatcha just kind of like fell off for me. I don't know why I stopped using it, but I feel like more so lately, so many people have been talking about the Tatcha product. So I kind of just wanted to revisit it. I've been feeling a little bit stale in my skin skincare routine. I've been using the same products for so long and I was like, I just, just want to try for curiosity's sake. So I actually picked up the whole regimen here and I mean, the skin's been looking great. There's a lot of new, but the skin's been looking great. So this is certainly a very pricey regimen, but I, I wanted to try it and see what, see what all the hype is about. And it's been a long time since I've used this. So I have been putting this on first, just dousing my skin in the mist. And then I've been going in with the dewy serum. I actually feel like one pump would be fine with this, but I just wanted to show you how I've been doing it truly. Should I have done this before putting the tan on? Like, is that wiping away? It's completely wiping away. That's okay. That's what makeup is for. I'm, I'm gonna be really careful. This is so silly of me to be doing this after I put a tan on, but I'm just gonna be avoiding the rest of my body. So there's a heads up for you. And then going in with the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. It has been delicious on the skin. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in. It looks just so, you know, when people talk about like the glazed donut look on the skin like this, gives you that. It's beautiful. It feels really, really nice. I have been enjoying it immensely. So next up on the skin front, I have been giving the new Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation a whirl. Now I had actually bought this shade in particular to match <laughs> my big tan. So I got this one in the shade four neutral. Um, I'm thinking about picking up the shade two neutral too for when I'm pale, but I kind of want to see what my final thoughts are on this. Like I'll keep you posted on my final thoughts. I'm not going to give you a full review now, but I have been using it for the last little while and it's been gorgeous so far. I've been taking a little bit. I really like the packaging. I think it's very convenient and lovely for everyday use. I kind of just take a little bit in my fingers and then I apply it onto my skin and it just blends in so beautifully. It's a very like thick, creamy feeling, but it's got like a nice medium, medium buildable coverage, I would say. And it just has that really beautiful, like juicy, glowy skin-like finish. And it just blends in so nicely. Like I'm literally just slapping this on with my fingers. And when it comes to my everyday makeup, I need it to be easy like this. Like if I am in a rush, I need something to be blended in with my fingers and to just do it quickly and seamlessly and not have to worry about it. And I need the blending to like do itself basically. I don't wanna have to think about it. I don't need a lot of effort put in for my everyday makeup. And this is one of the products that really falls nicely into that category. I am so embarrassing. Like I can't believe I've literally just wiped off all of the tan that I put on my face. <laughs> I should have washed it off first. Uh, to be honest, it's been so long. I, I forgot what tan felt like on my face. LOL. And then if I have any excess on my fingers, like I'll just kind of go in with a beauty blender and dot that around, but it's not necessary. Like I feel like we get really good coverage 
firmness on its own. Just when you slap it on with your finger puppets. Look at that combo. Absolutely glowing and delicious. Okay, so now moving on to concealer and contour, I wanted to show you what I've been doing a little bit. Like, it's not that different, okay? But I wanted to show you specifically the steps that I've been doing. So I have two shades of my Makeup Forever self-setting concealer. I have 22 and 30, I can never remember <laughs> what the shade numbers are, but I take the lighter one and I'm just gonna use this to highlight, which now that I've put the tan on, it's gonna be very, very light. And I've been putting that just like right along my under eye area where I need that brightening and help. Kind of dragging that along, lifting up the eye. I take a little bit on my chin and then yeah, on my forehead. So that's it with the lighter shade. Then I take the deeper shade and just use this to like actually conceal. So I always have like redness and these like patches. I've got veins that are all here. So I just take a little bit of that. Make sure to get around my nose. So just using this to like actually conceal. So now this is what is different. I'm going to keep those handy because I might actually want to apply more of that after. I've really been going heavy with the spritzes of the sprays in between steps. So like here, I'll take the Benefit setting spray and just spray that in. Let a layer of that soak, but we're going to keep that handy because we're going to be putting a lot more layers of it on. And now I'm gonna let the concealer sit. This was one of the tips that we gained in 2021 to let the concealer actually set, do its self-setting magic and give it a little minute to soak in. And while we do that, I'm going to apply the contour. So I'm taking my Huda Beauty Tantor and I've been taking a lot of this off on the palm of my hand just to try to not over apply it. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply this while the concealer is setting. Cause this basically goes everywhere where my concealer didn't. So I put this along my cheeks. This is my Smith 157 brush. I really wanna implement more of the Hindash foundation brush, like tip and trick with the concealer and blush and whatnot. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys like the routine I was doing before I filmed that video basically. Um, so I'm just taking this on my forehead as well, anywhere that I would normally contour. And I still take that down my nose as well, just like around that concealer. I just kind of blend it like right up to the eyebrow. I know it looks a little ridiculous right now, but we'll fix it. Okay, so, oh, I've also been taking it around my lips. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. It looks like really wild. And I remember trying it when I saw that TikTok hack of the girl like putting like a ton of contour around, but I've just been doing a little bit just around my lips, kind of like overlining it with the contour just slightly. And I think it looks really nice when all is said and done. I'm gonna take a healthy spritz of MacFix Plus onto my sponge just right before we blend it in. And then I blend it all in. Now that the concealer has had its time to kind of settle, and do its thing, then I'm gonna blend this out and blending the concealer over top of the contour again, like we learned last year, <laughs> just helps to make it look so, so natural. So I'm just taking the, the bulk of this and blending it out. I'll go back in after and like get those under eyes, but I just wanna get the bulk of the lighter concealer out of the way, just blending that into the contour. And then once I'm done like blending out all the concealer here, I'll just kind of like dot around the whole area of the contour and I'll just like grab the bronzing brush, contour brush, and just kind of poke between the two until I'm like happy with how it's blended out in that area specifically. But I feel like this is just a very lovely, seamless looking blend. It's just all melted together. Okay, now I'm gonna take a little brush and I'm just gonna get in here. Just blend out those inner, inner corners of the eye. So now I wanna do that lovely Hindash method of just taking my beauty blender and dipping it into the translucent powder and just using that to specifically set the under eyes. I love that tip. I thought it was so great, just so that you don't get any creasing as you do the rest of your makeup underneath your eyes. I thought that was great. And I'm definitely using that in my everyday makeup routine. And like I just said, I, I want to try more of his like foundation brush technique and using that to apply all the cream products to blend them all together. But just like thinking of those days when I haven't washed my foundation brush and I want to use this sponge to just have this go too. But look at the under eyes. 
How wild is that? Just pressing a little bit of that in. So nice. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and I'll be back with you when they are done. Now I mentioned that I've been using this palette on Instagram and I haven't actually talked about it on YouTube yet. So I'm gonna say sorry in advance because this is an old palette from Dior, but it has made its way into my everyday makeup bag because I was just trying to shop my stash and find some cooler toned eyeshadows and I had pulled this one out not realizing that it was no longer available. So this is the Dior 647 Undressed Palette. And I just love the two shades in here, this one and this one specifically, these two browns, they're so beautiful all over the eyes and I was just kind of trying to switch it up for my everyday makeup so much of the time I am just using my bronzer and I was just trying to play a little bit with the cooler tones and because I've been I mean the irony is that I've now put a tan on but because I've been in full winter pale mode I was just feeling a little bit odd with all the warm tones I was like I just need to have some cool tones back in my life which is not a revelation I've had for a while <laughs> And I've just been gravitating towards this palette. It's so pretty, I love. It's like, it's kind of like a really, really glowy, light taupe almost. It's, it's kind of like a gray brown. It's so nice. And then I just take this little deeper brown and just blend that along the lash line. And that's been the makeup that I've been doing every day. It's the makeup that I wore in my little new year, new me video, the first chatty video back. This was the eyeshadow that I had on. I've just been wearing it so much. It's so nice. I did put a little shimmer on that particular day. But just this by itself is so simple and easy and I just, yeah, I love these tones. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of that lighter brown on the lower lash line. And that is it, that is it for my everyday shadow that I have been doing lately. So I'm gonna pause the eyes there. I'm gonna do mascara last. I'm actually gonna go back to the face and use this NARS Behave blush. I have been loving this shade. It is such a gorgeous, gorgeous everyday neutral pink. I got a really beautiful package in from NARS over the break and this blush was included in it and it's just such a, such a beautiful tone. I love it so much. I can't get enough of it. It's just that perfect in between. Just for my skin tone, it's that perfect little everyday neutral pink. Love it so much. I'm just putting that on the cheekbones and I just do a little dust across my nose as well. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. Oh. I'm just gonna use that same brush and take a little bit of my Dior Nude Glow Highlight. Just take a little dusting of that across the cheekbones as well. And I'm also just gonna take a little eyeshadow brush and put that onto the lid as well. I'll do a little brow bone highlight too, what the heck. Cute! Finish off the skin with a little dusting of Benefit Hula. I'm just dusting a little bit off on my hand before I apply it onto the skin. Just doing a nice little light wash of that across. For lips, I have been loving this combo so much. My Victoria Beckham 02 Lip Definer and then the Victoria Beckham Pout Lipstick. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I keep saying, gorgeous, gorgeous girls, wear Victoria Beckham. <laughs> okay, taking the Lip Definer. Mm -hmm. I blend that in with my finger onto the lip. And then I just take a bit of Pout on the inside, just like all over the lips. Just kind of blending the two together. Now I'm gonna use powder in the Hindash way. I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush. This is the Refer number 30 brush in my Charlotte Tilbury powder and just take a good amount of that. And I'm just gonna set the entire face. I'm gonna take another big spritz of the Benefit setting spray. And then I'm gonna finish off with mascara. I'm using the Lancome Lashy Doll Mascara, even though I still desperately, desperately need to pick up a waterproof mascara because of my blinking. I've been ending up with raccoon eyes every single day and I just need to, uh, I, don't, I don't want to use waterproof mascara, but it's looking like I have to. If my uh, little blinkity blinketing <laughs> is here to stay.
And once the mascara is applied, this is the finished makeup look. I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair. This was just my lazy bun, um, but I'm gonna go do my proper like slicked back bun. I'm gonna get dressed and I'll be back with you when I'm done. All right, friends, I am dressed, my hair is slicked, and I am ready for the day. I actually put on this amazing little backless knit number. You see that sneaky little backlessness? I think it is so cute. I absolutely failed with my pony. I really wanted to do a bun, and the bun just wasn't, it just wasn't staying where I wanted it to. You know what I mean? This is the finished makeup look, and this is how I have been doing my makeup lately. So I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. What do you think of my current go-to little makeup routine? And if there are any other tips and tricks that you would love to share with us in the comments, please do. I would love to hear what products you are loving in your everyday roundup right now. And my friends, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you all very soon for a new one. Bye!